Hello, so today what we're going to do is learn how to draw the Cliffs of Mohurst. This is a really family friendly tutorial, so the whole family can sit down and give it a go. Um, we did it in colouring pencil just because we know not everyone has lots of art supplies. So you can try this in watercolour or acrylics or whatever you have at home. Um, so this is my one that I did for the kids to show them how to do it. Here is Millie's one, she did a fantastic job, I love it. And here is Luke's one, which is a little bit wilder. So it just depends on the colours that you use to get it right. So I'm just going to pass the camera over to Millie. And she's going to hold it there for me now. So we're going to start with um, our this bit here. So we're going to do the front of the cliff. So just to give our, paint, our picture a little bit of depth. So to do that, all you're doing is you're drawing a wobbly line that goes down into the corner of your page. And then you're going to start on the cliffs. So cliffs are almost like stairs, so you're going to come out straight and then give it a wobbly line to look like it's all crumbly. And then you're going to do a little trace back over the top and that's going to be your grass bridge. And then your next cliff is going to come out slightly lower and it's going to come down and out. Like a staircase. Like a staircase and it's going to go straight in. So this is going to be where your seat is. So then we're going to do your third cliff, same again, slightly lower at the top, slightly lower at the bottom, slightly higher at the bottom, and then go down. And the other thing we're forgetting to do is our little grass ridge on the top of each cliff. And then our fourth cliff comes out a little bit longer, like this. And it's actually got a sea stack at the bottom of it, so this is one of the recognisable features of the Cliffs of Moher. So to draw your sea stack, you're doing just a triangle that's a little bit wobbly and you can actually even start colouring that in now with your pencil. So you're just going back and forward on it because it's quite dark like that. And then we're going to do our last cliff. So it's the longest and the skinniest and it's got a curved nose on it. Luke said yesterday it was a little bit like the fin of a fish. So he's right. And then the last thing we're going to do, sorry about the noise in the background, that's Poppy the dog. Um, so the last thing we're going to do is the horizon line. So we're just going to go straight across here and that is our horizon line. So we're pretty much done with our drawing. So the colouring part of it is a little bit more tricky. What you want to do is try and make the right hand side of it a little bit more faded because everything in the distance is going to be more faded. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going really lightly with my pencil and I'm just going back and forth the whole way down. If you're doing this in paint as well, just go a little bit lighter, use a little bit more white through your blue at this point. And then as you get closer into the bay, you're going to make it look a little bit more choppy. So we're just going to do crisscrosses like this. Seas. What did you say, Millie? Seas. Seas, yeah. So you want to make it look like the waves are crashing against the cliff and then they're coming back out to the bay and then just blend it in down here. And we used a few different blues in ours. So we used our light blue and then we kind of colored in between our crisscrosses with our dark blue. And we left a few white bits so that the sea looks nice and sparkly. I think you can see in the... Yeah, that's right now. And then the next thing we're gonna do, when you've got all of that colored, I'm only gonna do a little bit just to show you how to do it, is start on your sea cliff in the foreground here. So to do that, again, it's kind of scribbly. We're going to use our light green first. Yellows are nice in here with dark green on it, depending on what colours that you have. And we're making our grass come up over the edge of the cliff, like this. Then we're going to use a little bit of dark green in between it, just to give it some texture. And then the other thing we did was we put some pink header on the end of our grasses and um, when Luke was doing his he also added some pink where did you put your pink Luke um, down in between them he put that. yeah so he put like little scribbly round bits in between so it looked like there was more flowers growing out of the bottom so whatever you want to do then we're going to move up to our cliffs so these are the ones you're going to put the most energy into so you're going to start by coloring in the grass ridges that we put on each of our cliffs. And then you're going to put more grass growing just in different places all around your cliffs. You want you could draw like circles to see 
you would yeah you could so if you wanted you could just draw a circle and then fill it in so you know where your grass is going to be and then you're going to need one two a light brown and a dark brown and a black okay so the reason we have the black is that we want to outline everything but also where you have a clip coming out you're going to have a shadow behind it so you want to fill in that shadow and you're going to do marks like this which we have decided are called hashtags so you're doing a few lines down and a few lines across so you're going to do the same in your clip at the front but possibly not as many because the light's going to be shining on that one because that's the first one the closest, the closest yeah and then we're going to use our kind of orangey brown and just go over everything like this and then we're going to use our dark brown just a big different color. yeah because there's loads of colors oh the other thing we wanted to say was that it's a good idea if moms and dads are doing this as well in particular is to have a picture of the clips and mohair in front of you in actual photographs so that you can see all the different colors. Um, we just got one off Pinterest, but you can get one wherever you want. Um, the next thing that we need to do, I'm gonna to have to take a color out of my pencil box, is the sky. So we wanted to give, make it like a spring day, like the lovely day we have today. So we're going with a little bit of yellow, just where the sea meets the sky. We're starting off quite dark, and as we go up, or fade, nice. yeah, fading it out. And then we went in with a little bit of pink, really lightly in between that. So it's like a hazy sea. Sky, hazy sky. Like this. And then we're gonna put our clouds in. So to do your clouds, you're gonna start with a wobbly line. To make them puff. To make them nice and puffy. And then you're going to go up and down into the corner like this. And then to make them look 3D, I'm going to use circular marks out of the bottom, just in different places on your cloud. It doesn't have to be everywhere. Purples work good in your clouds. Uh, Greys do as well if you want it to be a rainy day. And then in between your clouds, you're going to use your blue. We used purple in that one. We did use purple in that one. Um, the other thing we actually did, and you could do this too, was add some birds. So you're just going to do 